as we move towards the starting lineups for Wrexham. Phil Parkinson named an unchanged 11 for the last two consecutive games, but he's forced to make a change for tonight's fixture as Jacob Mendy was forced off for an injury against Woking. But Callum McFadgen will be taking his place with Elliot Lee still on the substitute bench despite his impact coming on as a substitute uh, only a few days ago. As we go to Gateshead side, Paul Black at the striker doesn't make the starting 11 tonight. He's managed to get two goals already this season for the Tyne Tiders. Leading the lines for the away side is Adam Campbell and Will Harris. Manager Mike Williamson also, interestingly enough, is the player manager. He'll be on the substitute bench, of course, as a backup defender. And Gateshead will be looking to get things underway for everyone here in North Wales. The players are ready, the fans are ready, and we are off here at the Kairi Ravis Gateshead, trying to send it towards the reference stand. Maxim cuts down with Jordan Davis with a, a nice and long ball, trying to get Paul Mullen on the end of things. Paul Mullen managed to hold off the defender well, and it looks like there's going to be a foul conceded by Gateshead straight away there. I think the clumsy decision to make, I believe it was uh, Louis Storey trying to keep Paul Mullen back as he was bursting through into the Gateshead box, and an early free kick, only 20 seconds in. It was very promising for the Red Dragons. There's plenty of height in the Gateshead box from Red Church of Ollie Palmer and Ben Toza, Max Clareweth, and of course Aaron Hayden, who can forget. Back in that brace a few days ago as the ball comes in. Comes off on a away shirt and it's the first corner. Luke Young will be standing over this one for the first set piece. Ball comes in, trying to find Hayden, but Toza at the back post, he'll loft it towards Ollie Palmer. Gator try and clear, Mullen with the first shot. Toza with the second. Only 90 seconds gone. Wrexham have already broken the deadlock. Bentoza with the shot. Bentoza with the goal. Well, what a start for the Red Dragons. Bentoza drifting onto the back post from the initial corner. And he lofts it back towards goal, trying to get Oli Palmer on the end of the header. Oli Palmer does manage to get a touch on the ball. Gateshead do not clear it very well. And Mullen with a snapshot. It comes off a Gateshead player only as far as Toza directed the ball towards goal. And it ricochets into the back of the net off a Gateshead player and wrecks him. Just like that, are oh, 1-0 to the good. Another throw from Toza. I tried to find Hayden, the ball's fumbling everywhere, the goalkeeper can't get back to his feet. And he's far as Jordan Davis. Outside the boot, trying to find Hayden at the back post, it was a great effort. As Gateshead try and get a counter-attack underway with Will Harris. Ball only as far as back, there's Langley there. And the pressure from Wrexham is really causing issues for Gateshead. Great tackle from the skipper Young and Jordan Davis sending the ball to Ollie Palmer. He's onside, he's timed his run well on Louis Story. Gonna cut it onto his right foot. Takes the chance, deflected it in. <laughs> two deflection, two goals. A second of the season for Ollie Palmer as well. What a strong start for Phil Barkett inside. Wrexham 2-0. Campbell who hasn't had too many touches of the ball in this first 15 minutes. Oh, it's a great touch from Ollie Palmer there, and you can clearly see he's being pulled back by Story. This is the second time now that Story's been involved with the Wrexham forward players. The referee's going to have to brandish a card here, and he does. The Ford. Gets it back to Hayden, it's a great pass from Hayden, but what a touch that is from Palmer. 
Jones, first time pass there on that left hand side, brilliantly. Mullen driving forward, keeps going Mullen, gets the cross in, and again, Louis Snowy just has to get a foot on the ball. Long ball towards Richardson, next to his time just run well, good cross in the box. Ball just trying to open his body against Adam Campbell, but Campbell was aware. Tom Allen with the shot. Just about get away with it there, Wrexham. Gate said, first set piece. Ball towards the near post. It's a good header. Gate said, have got one back. Owen Bailey allowed to run towards the near post, completely unmarked. Guides the ball across. And Mark Howard can't set himself in time. We see the replay here. It was a near post. Bailey completely unmarked. Launches a clearance. Trying to get past Campbell, but it's a great challenge from Jones. Oh, it's a dirty tackle, you have to say, from Story. It's going to get pulled back here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's an extra card. It was a late challenge. I think there will be. And it's a sending off for Gateshead's defender. A really silly challenge to give away in the middle of the park. The ball was already played. Looks to have been on Mullin. What a silly challenge. Gallagher can get the ball to the skipper. Ali finds Dan Ward on this left side. Take the shot first time. Another deflection. Clareworth. Davis. Ball cut back to Mullin. Mullin! Just under 30 seconds to go here. Maybe the last chance before the referee will blow his whistle with Toza lining up another throw in. Ball comes in. Palmer gets his head on the end of it. Oh, and it nearly finds its way into the back of the net there. Langley does very well to get a good punch, good connection on the ball. Mullin can't keep the ball in play, giving it to a Gator player and Gallagher. Wins the foul, he doesn't win the foul. The referee will actually blow the whistle for half time. Ball finds its way to Mullin. And the overlap is Jones, Mullin again. A long cross to the back post, Clareworth. Magny looking for an option, he's going to have to use the goalkeeper again. A loose touch from Langley as Mullen is coming in with the press. And Hayden with a poor header there, straight towards Bailey, the goal scorer. Oh, it's a great pass. Good save from Howard. Tinkler trying to loft that ball. And the Rex defence again, Clareuf does well. Skipper Ollie skipping past Jordan Davis brilliantly. Dan Ward gets a shot away and it's a deflection off Toza. Instantly he's on the ball, Mendy. Gets a cross in, brilliant cross. Young guiding it towards Davis. Davis wants the 1 2, he can get the 1 2. Trying to cut back onto his right foot. Only as far as Mendy. Onto his left. Gets a shot across. Toza just skipping past Campbell. Good ball by Clareworth to find Lee in plenty of space. Finds Palmer to his left. Mendy coming in with a stride. What a cross that was. Lee, plenty of space there. Palmer's going to go alone. He's forced to the corner flag. He's going to have to go backwards this time. And as far as Lee. Oli Pirouette away, gets the cross in. Oh, the ball hits the bar. And it's in the back of the net, but the offside flag will be raised on Paul Mullin. He's got Campbell running on. Toaster does well to hold him up in. Get the ball back to Howard for a clear in. So it's a poor touch. And Tinkler giving the ball straight to Mullin. Wrexham restore their two goal cushion. And it's that man again. 
It's Mullin, 3-1 Wrexham. Well, a calamitous mistake, as Gates had initially had an attack and had possession of the ball, comes back to Tinkler. He's just trying to guide the ball towards Dan Langley with a header, but he gets it all wrong. He's not watching, and Paul Mullen, he just scambles Paul Mullen for any sort of mistake. Here he is again, Young. What a pass that is to Lee. First time touch to Mendy, who's drifting into the middle. Mullen lets it run to that right side. Puts it before he's asked to shoot. It's good hands from Langley to really cause an issue for Langley, but it's a great attempt. It's great press for Jordan Davis. He drives towards the box. He skips past the goalkeeper. He just can't keep on his feet in time. Dan Ward with plenty of space in the midfield there, and he chooses to drive forwards. Ben is beaten there by Blackett, and it's a good save again from Mark Howard. That's a good cut away from Ollie. Ball towards Blackett. Blackett tries to beat Howard on the near post. Catch the goalkeeper off, but again, good hands. It's the 93rd minute. His hit and the final whistle is blown. Well, Wrexham make it three wins in a row.